I have a crush on you, and I want Ooh. to take you for it. Would you call it a Grand Slam at Denise? Yes, or? sir. Yes. Denny. Vicky Bobola! When I got in the finals, I mean, it all of a sudden meant that I, I was who I hoped I was, and that I wasn't invisible, that I was funny. I wish everybody could have that moment because it just fills you up. See, these are happy tears. The, and then I was told that I was competing against Preacher Lawson. I'm not even going to go there in my brain. I'm a huge fan of his comedy, but I am here to prove that I am a champion. I am going for the gold. Trailer Nasty! Trailer Nasty! Congratulations on all your success. We are driving through Vegas and we see your face on billboards now. Wanted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him you found me, man. <laughs> Vicky, I just want to ask one question. Many times things happen in life and you don't win. And then the following day you go, what would I have done differently? I'm curious to see what you would have done with all that knowledge you know. All right. Have. I'll be right back. Going. That's it. This is what she would have done differently. Hold on. Dante and Jay, don't leave home without him, ladies. Some trailer nasty action right there. So I just bought the second best trailer in my trailer park. Yeah! <laughs> right? I've been wanting it for years. Now that I'm on AGT, I got a tour, I could buy it, and I bought it. Thank you. Thank you. And my trailer is on the tippy top of the hill. And I look down on all the other trailers. Yeah. I know, now I know what it feels like to be a Kardashian. <laughs> 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 it's for you, Simon. <laughs> so I think I gotta buy a second trailer in LA. Yeah, because I'm here so much. I'm going around these fancy streets in LA. I'm walking down Rodeo Drive. <laughs> and there's these skinny, rich people walking their dogs. So annoying. They're all like, it's a rescue. It's a rescue. It's a rescue. I rescued it. I'm like, of course it's a rescue. That's a hideous looking dog. Gary Busey is more attractive than that dog, okay? Oh, oh, I mean, oh. like, you know how they say people look like their dogs? I don't want to look like my dog, okay? I want a beautiful dog, okay? You know? Now that I'm thinking about L.A., I'm thinking maybe I'll get me a little celebrity dog. So I go to Beverly Hills to the fancy shelter, right? And this dog was so pretty, it had long blonde fur, and it actually barked with a French accent. Woof, woof, right? <laughs> But as soon as these shelter people found out that I lived in a trailer, they're not giving me that dog, you know? No, they're like, you know, Vicky, a dog is a very expensive responsibility. Could get in an accident, that could cost upwards of $5,000. Are you prepared to pay that, Vicky? I'm like, no, you know? <laughs> well, you know, Vicky, you have to think of it as if it's your daughter. You know, if your daughter is in an accident, I'm like, if my daughter was involved in an accident, God forbid, I would have to sit her down and say, Lily, you're going to have to limp a little. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. With you on the stage is way too short. I want to have you way longer. Your skirt, on the other hand, is getting shorter and shorter every time we see you, and I love that. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I agree. I agree. You're so naughty, so funny. We are seeing a different Vicky, if you want my honest opinion. I can see this real confidence. You are owning the stage. I think if you'd have done that on the final, this may have been a different outcome. Thank you so much. I mean Thank it. you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, everybody. She's the only other comedian on my round, and she's slotted, so... She's pretty good. She's really good.